Hey guys, I am Vignesh and once again welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see other important feature in cloud storage that is object life cycle management. So uh, in this video, we will understand what is object life cycle management and how it is helpful in real time scenarios and how it is helpful on storing, uh, saving cost and uh, removing managing the log files more efficiently all those things we will be seeing in this videos and along that we will see a practical implementation on how to create on how to implement this object lifecycle management in cloud storage bucket so this is the objective for today's video and i hope it is clear and without any further delay let's get started to know more about object lifecycle management i have given this uh, link in this uh, description section of this video please take a look at it and uh, i will give all the other uh, related um, documents also in this uh, comment section itself description section please take a look at it and explore more in uh, to understand this object life cycle management in depth so i'll open the console not like not console like i'll open that link so this is the object life cycle management official link provided by google cloud platform in cloud storage so what is the main use of object lifecycle management is to move logs from uh, storage classes. Basically, there are four different types of storage classes available in Google Cloud. Cloud storage, one is uh, standard, near line, cold line, and uh, finally, archive. So basically, the storage cost and the query cost for all the different classes differs. So to reduce the cost, to manage cost, and uh, to delete unwanted logs all those things we will be using this uh, object life cycle management object life cycle management so uh, some of the few common cases like uh, like uh, setting a time to leave for an object for example uh, our uh, for example uh, consider an use case where the logs will be monitored only for 30 days and after 30 days we will get a new set of logs so the logs which is present previously it is of no use or it is of very minimal use so we have to move that particular logs from one storage class to another storage class that is from standard to near line or cold line or even to delete that particular logs also we will be using or we will be setting that time to leave for that particular objects like for 30 days or 60 days whatever it is and to retain non-current version of the objects or downgrading storage class of objects to help manage cost and cloud storage object offers this particular service to do all these things to retaining the non-current versions to help manage costs and particularly to move logs or to move the data from one particular storage class to another storage class in order to help manage costs and to manage the logs very efficiently so this page here this talks about the of object life cycle management in them please take a look at it and uh, understand it in depth as well so some of the use cases like example use cases are like downgrade the storage class of objects older than 365 days to cold line storage so if there are logs or there are data which is present in standard storage and the lifetime or uh, the number of days if it is exits more than 365 days we can just move that logs or move that data from uh, from uh, storage standard the storage class that is standard to cold line storage we can add a rule and we can add conditions to it and then the ob obviously once the condition is met then the rule will get trigger and it will move by specific logs to uh, whatever the condition is or we can delete objects which is created before january 1 2019 and or else keep only the three most recent versions of each object in a bucket for previously i have explained to you what is object versioning how it helps all those things if you have not taken a look at that video please take a look at it i'll give that link of this for that particular video in the description session so if there are many versions for example for a particular object if there are many like five ten versions we don't need more than three versions of it so we can create a rule to it and we can just keep only three uh, versions of that particular file and rest all the other versions we can delete it and there are life cycle options and this is the main like life cycle actions so life cycle actions it, this is a consider of a rule where we have to delete 
you have to delete or you have to set storage class from cold line to near line or near line to cold line or standard to near line so something like that delete the object set storage class and about incomplete multi-part upload so what does that mean when we are uploading multiple files and if it is incomplete we can go ahead and we can abort that operation or we can delete that particular option as well so i'll give this uh, this particular link in the description taken section please take a look at it and go through it to get uh, in-depth knowledge about it so as i said and there are conditions and actions now we will see how to do it uh, how to implement practically in cloud storage bucket for that i am opening my console this is my google cloud console platform i am like i'll go into this demo 01001 bucket so if you see we will uh, we can see all the uh, standard configurations of it uh, you can to implement object lifecycle management you can go into this lifecycle section and here you can add rule to it so basically first thing i'll add a rule so what does this is select an action so set storage classes near line currently this bucket is set to standard uh, standard storage class now i can set storage class to near line so best best what is this near line is best for is best for backups and data accessed less than once a month and then set storage class to cold line for disaster recovery and data access less than once a quarter and set storage like our uh, archive so long term digital preservation so, so uh, which is access less than once a year i have explained you all these things what are the different storage class in this uh, in this playlist itself uh, please take a look at it if you don't know what is standard near line core line and archive or you can even delete object as well you can delete this object and delete multi part work set a time limit and removes unfinished or ideal multi part uploads when there is an unfinished job or when there is a multi-part upload is pending then we can delete this using this method for now i'll create this delete object so delete object is will delete the object after after this condition made so what i will do is i'll open this google cloud in a new tab so i'll go into this cloud storage and uh, i'm inside this bucket so i'm inside this bucket I'll create one folder. So folder name is uh, lifecycle management. M A N G M E N T. I'll create one folder. I uh, inside that folder I'll upload some files like whatever the files. No, I'll I'll just upload one file. Not here. I'll go to this download. I'll upload this logo dot png file. So just refresh it you will see that file so this is a standard storage class so i'm just deleting it object object name matches prefix so in this we will give a what is the bucket name? life cycle management life cycle management logo. So if this uh, starts with this folder, lifecycle management folder, and it starts with logo, it that is the first set of rule we are adding. And then what is the condition? So what will be the age? We what we are going to do is, if it is age less than one day, if it is more than one day, we are going to delete that object from this bucket. And there are other conditions also created before storage class matches number of new year versions day since becoming non-current became a non-current before live state day since custom time custom table so you can go through this uh, all these things in that particular link which i gave you but this is then just to give you an idea about what is object versioning and how to implement it in google cloud storage object lifecycle management and how to implement it in google cloud storage and then we can create continue and then it will create it so if you see Two, uh, if you see after you add or edit a rule, after an editing or creating a new rule, it may take up to 24 hours to take an effort. So we have to wait at least 24 hours to make an, uh, to work, to see this object lifecycle management works. So this is how we will be creating object lifecycle management in Google Cloud Storage. Uh, so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have any questions or any uh, concerns please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to ai analytics cloud ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon 
so uh, i'll see uh, the result of this particular video i'll try to add or incorporate in the uh, upcoming videos so that you can take a look at it as well uh, basically i'll try to link both the videos by giving that url as well so um, i'll try my best to show the result of this particular uh, rule as well so for this particular delete object i'll try to do it and uh, yeah so that's it for this video uh, i'll see you in the next video with new content and new interesting uh, topic from google cloud platform so until then it's bye from vignesh happy learning